Hey guys, Sea Weed from Tribal Soup Project here. Welcome to another episode of Sensational. You're watching the How to Cheat series, and today we are here in the lovely, the beautiful, the very Hawaiian esque world of Salani. And with a brand new world comes a brand new set of cheats. And I am going to show you guys all the different island living cheats. Yes, that's right. I am going to show you how to do everything from instantaneously turning your sim into a mermaid to summoning dolphin and sharks to being able to do the different career and aspiration cheats as well. And as you can imagine, this is going to be a very lengthy list. And let's say you're only looking for one cheat in particular. Well, I am going to put a cool table of contents for you so that you can go ahead and fast forward this video to the spot that you need to see the particular particular cheat that you want to learn. We're going to go ahead and kick start this off with how to change your sim into a mermaid using a cheat. And there's actually two ways that you can do this. And um, the first way is to go into build mode. And then once you're in build mode, you're going to open up your cheat box by pressing and holding control shift and the letter C on the keyboard. And then we're going to go ahead and turn on the show hidden objects cheat. And what this cheat does is it allows you access to some of the hidden objects that you're not really supposed to have access to. And the code for that is BB dot show hidden objects. And then you hit enter. And I'm going to go ahead and hit escape on my keyboard to get rid of the cheat box. And then over here in the search bar, what we're looking for is Mermatic Kelp. So I'm going to type in Kelp. And as you can see, we do have the option for our Mermatic Kelp. And then all we would do is put the Mermatic Kelp into the game and then go back into play mode and have our Sim eat the Kelp and poof, she will become a mermaid. So um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go back into play mode and we're going to do the second way that you can turn your sim into a mermaid using a cheat and we're going to open our cheat box back up and the first thing that we need to do is we need to enable our testing cheats and the code for that is testing cheats oops misspelled that cheats space bar true and then we hit enter and the drop down has opened up letting us know that the cheats have been enabled and the code in order to turn your sim into a mermaid is traits dot equip underscore trait space bar trait underscore occult mermaid and then we hit enter and then getting rid of the cheat box, as you can see, our plumb bob now has the silver band that has waves going across it um, around our plumb bob, letting us know that our sim is a mermaid. We've got a hydration um, need instead of hygiene, and we can also click on her and have the different mermaid interactions. Now, there's also a way that you can turn your mermaid back into a regular sim, but this cheat actually isn't working right now. And I don't know if this is like a temporary bug or what's going on. Um, there are similar cheats to turn your vampire sim back into a regular sim or your alien back into a regular sim. Um, and those ones actually do work right now. I'm not sure why the mermaid one doesn't work, but I am going to go ahead and give you the code in case, um, you know, this is just like a temporary thing that's going to be fixed later on with a patch or something. But um, I said basically the same code that we use to turn our sim into a mermaid, but we're going to go ahead and change the word equip to remove. So that makes the cheat to turn your mermaid back into a regular sim. Traits dot remove underscore trait space bar trait underscore occult mermaid. And then you would hit enter and on a normal basis, um, all of our mermaid stuff would go away and she would just be a regular sim. So moving on, there is one last mermaid cheat, and this cheat is going to trigger your mermaid tail to be shown on land. And I'm not exactly sure why you would want to do this, but um, 
maybe you like that and it is available for you to do if you would like to so we're going to go ahead and open up the cheat box again and the cheat to trigger your mermaid tail is going to be cheats dot equip underscore trait space bar trait underscore occult mermaid underscore mermaid form and then we hit enter and as you can see we now have our lovely and ooh very purple mermaid tail um, visible to us on land let's see what this actually looks like um, walking oh so just kind of like wait let's see <laughs> go further lady that's so weird that's so freaky okay so um yeah so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that and um let me go ahead and pause this this and all we're gonna do to get rid of that is we're gonna put the same exact cheat back in but we're gonna change the word equip to remove so it's gonna be traits dot remove underscore trait space bar trait underscore occult mermaid underscore mermaid form and we hit enter and as you can see we now have two legs again back on land as god just meant it to be <laughs> So the next Solani cheats we're gonna go over are the career cheats. And um, with the Solani expansion, um, we do have a conservationist career as well as some new part-time jobs. So we're gonna go ahead and begin with a conservationist. And um, the first cheat I'm gonna show you is how to add the career if you didn't want to use the phone or the computer so i'm going to open up the cheat box again and you will have to have your testing cheats enabled in order for it to work and once your testing cheats have been turned on you're going to go ahead and enter careers dot add underscore career space bar conservationist and then you hit enter and as you can see down here she has entered into the conservationist career then once she is in the conservationist career if you want to go ahead and get her promoted without actually doing the work to get promoted then the chief for that is going to be careers dot promote space bar conservationist And then you hit enter and then as you can see she's been promoted to the next level and if we wanted to continue getting her promoted all the way up then we would just have to continue entering in that cheat in order for that to happen so the next one is going to be how to remove the career if you didn't want to actually quit the job with a computer or telephone and we're going to open up the cheat box again and i'm just going to go ahead and paste in the same exact code that I did to add the career but this time I'm going to take out the word add and I'm going to put remove in its place so the code is going to be careers dot remove underscore career space bar conservationist and as you can see she is now no longer a part of any career at all and she is free to go ahead and choose another career path and with Solani, our new part-time careers are going to be diver, fisherman, and lifeguard. And teens can actually also become a lifeguard as well for a part-time job. And these career um, cheats are almost exactly the same as the cheats we just did for the conservationist. The only difference is where conservationist was it's going to be part-time diver or part-time fisherman or part-time lifeguard or teen lifeguard. So um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add um, her a diver career. And I'm going to go ahead and open up my cheat box. And I am going to change the word conservationist with part-time underscore diver. And then I'm going to hit enter 
And as you can see, she now is a part of the diver career. And then if we wanted to go ahead and get her promoted in this career, it's going to be the same as it was for the conservationist, but we're going to do part-time diver. So it's going to be careers.promote. then space bar, then part-time diver, underscore diver, part-time underscore diver, excuse me. And then we hit enter, and as you can see, she has went ahead and moved up within that career. And now we're going to go ahead and we are going to um, remove this career entirely. And we're going to go ahead and change conservationist to part-time underscore diver. And then we are going to replace the word add with remove. And again, she now is not a part of any career path. And she can go ahead and become a fisherman or a lifeguard or, you know, whatever she wants to be. So the next set of Solani treats we're going to go over are the reward traits. And these reward traits are um, the things that are given to us when we either complete an aspiration or we're a part of or we complete a certain level of a career. And we're going to, of course, go ahead and first open up our cheat box. And you will have to turn on your testing sheets for this. And once your testing sheets are turned on, we're going to go ahead and enter in the cheat for the laid back beach bum. And that's going to be traits.equip underscore trait space bar trait underscore beach bum underscore laid back. And then we hit enter and we can come on down here over into our um, symology and we can look for the laid back trait and there it is here. So these reward traits, um, they're all very similar. All of them are going to start off in the same exact way with this traits.equipped underscore trait space bar trait underscore and then you would just change this wording to be whichever the cheat it was. So the next one we're going to do is the Solani Mana. And um, the Solani Mana, um, what the description for that is, this sim is imbued with Solani's elemental energy due to their heritage. They can increase the quality of plants as well as summon volcanic bombs. Ooh, volcanic bombs. So, um, like I said, the first part is going to be the same. And we're going to go ahead and change the last part to hidden underscore island ancestor. Underscore. Elemental. And then we hit enter. And again, we can come down here and look for that. And we have our Solani Mana. And um, so on and so forth. The next one, of course, would be Natural Speaker. So we're going to change this part. And we're going to put in Natural Speaker. And a natural speaker. Sims that are natural speakers have been empowered by nature with instinctive charisma. Being friendly is second nature. These Sims find it easy to enthuse and spread awareness of their culture to other Sims and find that their grant applications tend to get accepted. So we're going to go ahead and hit enter on that one. And apparently... I um, typed it wrong because I'm a terrible typist. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one more time. It's going to be traits.equip underscore trait space bar trait underscore. Okay. And natural N A T U R A L speaker. Enter. And that time it should work. So let's come down here and see if it did. Natural speaker, blah, blah, blah. Okay, good. 
And then the last one would be a friend of the sea. So we're going to go ahead and paste that back in again. We're going to get rid of this one and we're going to put in friend of the sea. And let's see. Where's it at? Mentor, Leba. She has a whole lot of traits, this lady. She's like really well rounded. <laughs> master of the sea. There we go. And a master of the sea becomes friends with dolphins and mermaids faster and can maneuver around the ocean much more easily. So, voila. There we go. She now has a lot more traits to add into her already a lot of traits. <laughs> So the next thing I'm going to show you guys is how to cheat to have a suntan. And once our testing cheats have been turned on, we actually have access to a hidden menu. If we hold down shift and then we click on our sim. And then under sunbathing options, we can go ahead and select tanned, burnt, no tan, or lock tan or burn. And that lock tan or burn will lock in however you have it. If you find the perfect tan and you really want to lock that tan in, then you would select that and then that tan will never go away. So in order for these next set of cheats to work, you are going to have to have the All Cheats mod downloaded into your game. Now, if you're one of those people who's like me, and you don't actually like to use mods because of the risk that's involved, um, rest assured that this mod's completely clean. It was created by somebody who's very well known within the Sims community. It's not going to mess up your computer. It's not going to mess up your game. And if you don't know how to use mods, I am going to show you how to do this really quick. It's super easy. But the first thing that you need to do is in your game, you need to go to your game options and then click the other tab. Once you're in this other menu, you want to make sure that you have your mods and script mods checked off um, so that the mod will be able to be enabled when you um, start your game. So once you've made sure that these boxes are checked, you're going to go ahead and make sure to apply your changes and then you're going to um, exit out of your game. Once you've exited your game, you're going to come to this website here and you're going to scroll down to this red All Cheats mod, and you're going to simply click on it to make it download. Once it has download, you're going to click this arrow, and then you're going to select Show in Folder. Then when you have the mod here highlighted in your folder, you're going to right click on it, and you're going to copy it. Then you're ready to go over to your documents, then select Electronic Arts, then The Sims 4, and then the mods. And then you're simply going to right click on the inside of it and paste it in there. Obviously, I already have it pasted in there, so I'm not going to paste it in there again. And once you've done that, um, you're ready to go ahead and start your game up. And um, the only thing that is going to be visually different is when you first start it up, is you'll get this little list of the different mods that you have in your game. And once that's in there, you're ready to go and continue on with these really cool Island Living Cheats. So as you know, in the wonderful world of Solani, we have um, a very large focus on conservation and with cleaning up the island. And as you clean up the island, the island gets prettier and prettier. And um, there are actually three different stages. And there are cheat codes in order to put the island on each of these stages. So um, with our testing cheats turned on, the codes are all going to be very similar. So our first code is going to be the stage one and that's going to basically make your beach dirty and it's going to have a bunch of litter everywhere um like we see like right here there's litter here we've got some pollution here we've got more litter here it's just that we've got all these little i'm not even sure what these are i guess these are like where little lava bombs have kind of erupted i don't know 
But um, so we're going to go ahead and open up the cheat box. And we already have our testing cheats turned on. And um, the code for the starting stage or stage one is going to be narrative dot start underscore narrative space bar narrative underscore island conservation underscore stage underscore starting and um then we would hit enter and we're actually already here at stage one so it, the island is not going to have changed so um to move to stage two stage two um the island is starting to get a little bit better there's going to be less trash um there's not going to be as much pollution but you are still going to find trash from time to time and it's not going to be exactly the best as it could be and um and this code is is almost exactly the same as the last one but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take out the word starting and we're gonna put intermediate here so it's gonna be narrative dot start underscore narrative space bar narrative underscore island conservation underscore stage underscore intermediate and I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. And the island is improving. Conservation efforts are allowing Mawa Palum to flourish. Flowers are blooming, blooming, coral reefs are growing, and fish are coming back. Not all is going swimmingly though. Pesky sea golds have come to take advantage of local wildlife. And the allure of the beautiful island has attracted more troublemakers. Keep it up. Mawa Palim. I do not know how to say that. I guess I should have looked that up before starting the video. But this island needs more care. So um, we can go ahead and let's go ahead and exit out of that. And we actually, we still have our trash that was already there um because we hadn't cleaned it up yet but um apparently the island is improving and then of course we have our stage three and um our stage three is when the beach is clean and you can see all kinds of different um, wildlife um you can encounter an albino dolphin there's jellyfish there's turtles all kinds of stuff like that and again, it's going to be the same exact code, except we're going to take out that last word and we're going to put final in there. And then let's go ahead and hit enter. And that island is thriving. The island is healthier overall and animals consider it a sanctuary. Sea turtles have been sighted laying their eggs on the peach. Keep lookout for special baby turtle hatching events. There's also been reports of a rare albino dolphin in the winters. The island is now fully restored to its prime. Time to celebrate. Hooray! And uh, actually, nope, our trash is still there. Um, I guess maybe we will have to go ahead and um, leave this island and come back to it for it to kind of take effect more. But um, yeah, that's how you cheat to go ahead and clean up the island. One of the coolest things about the Island Living Expansion is the ability to interact or to see animals. And one of the type of animals that um, we can actually see are sharks. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to cheat to summon a shark. And once your testing cheats have been enabled, you're going to go ahead and put this cheat in. Now, this cheat, um, it doesn't work 100% of the time. There's about a 50% chance that this will actually happen. So we're going to cross our fingers and toes. And um, the cheat code is sims.add underscore buff space bar buff underscore ocean swimming underscore recreation trigger underscore shark sighting and then we hit enter and um now all we have to do is wait and i will add that in order for this to actually work what are you doing lady <gasps> there it is there's the shark there it is 
I think maybe, I don't know what it's going to do. Is it going to try to bite us? I actually haven't done this before. Uh, she's swimming away. She's just like, whatever, I'm not scared of it. I'm just going to swim over here. But that was so freaking cool. And that was a great white shark, too. I absolutely love that. I'm like absolutely thrilled with it. <laughs> The next cheat we have available to us will summon a dolphin. And, um, <coughs> excuse me, the really cool thing about this cheat is that you can actually enter it in more than once and you can summon more than one dolphin. So once the testing cheats have been enabled, the code to summon a dolphin is loot dot apply underscore two underscore sim space bar loot underscore dolphins underscore investigate underscore spawn dolphin and then we hit enter and um, i'm actually going to go ahead and i'm going to put it in more than once and um let's see what happens here so here we have we go we have one dolphin here so i'm going to go ahead and pause my game and i'm going to open the cheat box again and I'm going to go ahead and paste that back in and hope that we see it. <gasps> Here we have two dolphins. And look how cute they are. And that one loved us because it gave us a nice little hug. Oh, and that one's waiting too. <laughs> I love the dolphins. So this next cheat is going to... um create a volcanic eruption and in order for this to work you do have to have the um, volcanic activity lot trait selected so we've put that in and i'm going to come back into play mode and what is my sim doing she's got like crazy googly eyes and oh my gosh what is she doing <laughs> That must be her best dolphin impersonation. Oh my god, I never saw one do that before. Oh, okay. So back on track. So um once you have volcanic activity um tray at your lot, and then once you've turned on your testing cheats, um the cheat you're going to enter in is volcanic underscore eruption space bar and then if you want to have a small eruption you would put small here but you can also trigger a large eruption simply by taking out small and replacing it with large but we're going to go ahead and go with small here because this is another one that i haven't actually done before so um let's kind of see what happens here oh my god the whole world is shaking the world is shaking. <gasps> Holy jamoli. Oh my God. What the heck? Try to touch? Why would we try to touch it? What is... Break open? Too hot to touch. Whoa. What is this? What is this? That is so weird. There was another one that happened over here, but we only got one lava bomb. <gasps> Here's one here on our house. Holy crap. Too hot to touch. So they just kind of like sit there? They're not going to like catch on fire or anything? The whole ground is like sent. What is she doing? She's just like, I don't care that a volcano has erupted on my house. I'm just going to swim around. Come on, lady. I, I, whoa, this is, like, so cool. I wonder how long it takes for them to, um, actually, like, stop being so hot. I wonder what'll happen when we break it open. Now I kind of want to, like, do a large one. Let's do a large one now. So let's open the cheat box, and let's paste this cheat back in, and then let's do large. And now the world is like really shaking. Oh my god. <gasps> Dude. Crazy. So it actually it hasn't destroyed our house at all and nothing seems to be catching fire. Where did our small ones go? The small ones have like gone away. Apparently it broke our sink. So let's replace the sink. 
So, how long is it going to take to be able to touch it? I don't know. I guess I'll do that on my own. And for you guys, we'll move on to the next team. So another kind of cool thing about the um, Island Living Expansion are all these little festivals that just kind of are randomly generated throughout the island. And um, not all of them happen at the same exact location, and there are several of them. So um, one of them that happens, um, this will only happen over at the i don't i don't haven't ever heard anybody say this so i'm not sure if i'm gonna say this right but the um mua Pelam island um basically over where you do all the different conservation activities um and this um event will happen over here near the shipwreck and um the event is the turtle hatching and turtle hatching is something that only happens when we have fully cleaned up the island. But there is a cheat for um, the event to be triggered. And um, once we have our testing cheats turned on, we're going to go ahead and enter this code. And that's drama.run underscore node spacebar island events underscore large underscore drama node underscore turtle hatching and we hit enter and then press play and then here we go with our turtle hatching so let's come over here and actually check this out and oh look at the little baby turtles what can we do can we do something with them we can cheer on baby turtles. Let's cheer them on. Oh, <laughs> She's just as excited to see them as I am. Oh, they are hi. so cute. Is there something else we can do too? Not really. I will admit it is a little bit underwhelming. But I mean, look. They're baby turtles. <laughs> so another event that happens over here um, randomly in Solani, um, and more specifically at the Ahanali, um Island Town, is the fishing competition. And the fishing competition takes place, blah, blah, I can talk. The fishing competition takes place over here at the fishing nets. And um, you can get to the fishing nets by coming over to the beach or to the sandbar or by visiting somebody who lives in one of these houses over here. And um, once you have your testing sheets turned on, the code to trigger the fishing competition is drama.run underscore node spacebar island events underscore large underscore drama node underscore fishing competition and we hit enter and press play and apparently we wait why is that and here it is for a second there i thought it wasn't gonna happen <laughs> So, um, what can we do here at this fishing competition? I guess we can, um, fish. Um, how does the competition actually work? I'm not sure. What will happen if we click on this? Nothing, because nobody is there to sell us stuff. So, I guess, um, for the competition, we just fish. I wonder where all the people are. Where are all the people for the fishing competition? Nobody wants to take part. Where is everybody? I see, like, nobody. Everybody is over here swimming at the beach, and nobody's going to come fish. And my girl definitely is not going to try to fish because she's a mermaid, and, you know, those are her buds. All those little fishy people are her buddies. Oh, here comes somebody. Here comes someone. So, how is it like a competition? Can't we have done all that anyways without there being a competition? I'm not really, not really sure. I wish like 
I think it would be better if it worked like one of the um, the holidays. If it worked like one of the holidays or even just like one of the events or something that happens and it just tells us stuff to do. But how is this really like a competition? I guess maybe after everybody fishes, then um, we see who got the biggest catch. That's probably how it works. Huh. Interesting. The next event that we are going to trigger is the Family Fun Day. And the Family Fun Day is a small event that happens in this little beach with the shallow waters that's right off you have your big beach here and then we come over here by the fishing nets and we have this little beach here and um once we have our testing cheats turned on we're going to go ahead and enter the code and as additional side note to this if you've been noticing all of these event cheat codes are extremely si similar all of them start with this drama run node, et cetera. And then we have small, or if it was a large event, the word would be large. And then it would be the drama node. And then the end of it would be whatever event that is. So the family fun day event code is drama dot run underscore node space bar island events underscore small underscore drama drama node underscore family fun day and we hit enter and our family fun day event should be starting momentarily up oh, there it goes <laughs> it just took a second but it has finally started and i guess it's a good place just to come with your kids and they can use this swing, which is kind of in the water, and check out all these cool, colorful things and grab a bite to eat and whatnot. The Beach Bonfire event is another event that happens over here in Honolulu Town at the little beach with the shallow waters that's kind of down the way from the big beach and next to um, where the fishing nets are. And again, after the testing sheets have been turned on, the code is going to be drama dot run underscore node space bar island events underscore small underscore drama node underscore beach bonfire. And wait for it. <laughs> And poof, we have our beach bonfire where our Sims can, you know, have a bonfire and do some socializing and, you know, really just get to know each other in a really cool location. The next event that we're going to trigger is the Flower and Music Festival. And this is an event that happens over here at the little community area that is located next to the bar in Ahanali Town. And that code is, after we have our testing sheets turned on, the code is going to be drama.run underscore node space bar island events underscore small underscore drama node underscore flower and music.
and the Flower and Music Festival has started, and our Sim can come and do some bonfire and dancing and play a little guitar and maybe even grill on this cool feasting area here. The Island Celebration is another large event that takes place over here at the Community Center at the Ahanali um, Island next to the bar. And once we have our testing sheets turned on, the code is drama.run underscore node spacebar island events underscore large underscore drama node underscore island celebration. And this is one of those cool festivals that actually has um, some cool vending booths. We can play guitar. We can, I guess what these tables, it seems like these tables are like meant for us to be able to like sell stuff. But I mean, there doesn't really seem to be a whole lot of function to them. Maybe, maybe therefore if we wanted to grill over here, then we could put prepared food on them and whatnot. But yeah, so that is our cool island celebration event. The last event type that we can trigger in Solani over in the Honolulu town are town barbecues. And we actually have two different types of town barbecues. We have our regular run-of-the-mill barbecue, and then we also have a potluck. So, um, once our testing sheets have been turned on, both of these sheets for the um, town barbecues are extremely similar. And the only difference is the last word of the um, sheet. So, both of them start out drama.run underscore node spacebar island events underscore small underscore drama node underscore and then for your just regular town barbecue it's going to be town barbecue or you could put in town potluck and we're actually going to do the potluck one because i think it's actually um really kind of a cool thing when all the different islanders come and bring the different food types Seems like um, a really cool place to kind of get to know your fellow islanders. And poof, here we have our town barbecue, our town potluck barbecue. And momentarily, we'll have all different types of sims um, come here, bringing their different delicacies and having a bonfire and, you know, maybe doing some fire spinning and just socializing and creating community. So um, that's about it, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoy playing with um the island living expansion as much as i do um in my personal opinion i this expansion has added so much to um the gameplay and just i don't i don't know exactly what it is what draw it is for me but it really is my favorite expansion i love how we can swim in the ocean. Um, I love the focus on conservation. I don't know. And just, I mean, get a load of this world. It's just absolutely, completely gorgeous. And why are these guys just like hanging out on the road? Come on, guys. Come and bring your food so that we can eat. <laughs> so I hope you guys um, enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something from watching it as well. If you have any questions or comments or um, cool stories about things that you did in Island Living, I would love to hear what you have to say. 
down into the comments below. Um, if you like the video, please help us out by hitting that thumbs up to give us a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Be sure to click that bell icon so that you're notified when new videos are released. Feel free to go check out our website, maybe listen to some of our free music, see some of our funny videos. And until next time, guys, happy simming, and I'll catch you all later. Goodbye!